We'll guide you through how to fix screenshots not working in Windows 11. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. This problem can be really annoying because then you can't go and capture what's on your screen and perhaps something important that you need to go and share or go and put into a document. So we'll guide you through some different fixes you can try. Make sure it's this full guide. To get started, press the Windows Start button at the bottom and open up your settings. Head to the left and find apps and press Installed Apps. At the top here, you need to go and search for an app called Snipping Tool. This is the screenshot tool. So if it doesn't go and show up, we'll cover that in a moment. But if it does, press the three dots to the right and press Advanced Options. Then at the top here, you want to make sure that it's always running. Next, you can then go and scroll down and you want to go and press Terminate. Then we're going to try repairing it. Let this go and complete. Once it does, we'll go and do a reset as well. We'll go and press Reset and confirm our decision. Let that complete. Now, what you can try doing is doing the shortcut, shift Windows key and S and go and see if you can now go and take a screenshot. Hopefully you can. If you found snipping tool wasn't showing up in apps, what we need to do is go and get it. So press search at the bottom and you can go and type in store. At the top, you can go and type in snipping tool like so, and you can then go and install it here. As you can see, I already have it says open, but if it isn't on your computer, you can go and install it here. Hopefully that goes and solves the problem. If it still doesn't and you're trying to use the keyboard shortcut, print screen, you need to come back to your settings, go over to the left and find accessibility, scroll down and find keyboard, and then you need to come down to shortcuts and make sure you switch on, use the print screen key to open screen capture like so, and then you'll be able to go and use the shortcut on your keyboard, see if that solves it. If it still doesn't, the next thing we're going to try doing is performing a restart on a computer, as often it just needs to refresh and it'll be working again. So you can go and press the Windows button at the bottom, go to the right and press the power button, and then what you can do is press restart. Wait for that to complete, and then when your computer comes back on, hopefully now it's working and the problem's solved. If you found this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. I look forward to helping you again. Goodbye for now, have a great day. Thank you for watching.